Whew. It's been a long, hard day. We're finally done. We're going to go get some food in our belly and go right to bed. Let's get food. Oh, we got Gina here, too. I don't know where she went, though. She's probably uh, guarding the place. She's such the watchdog. She keeps me up late at night barking. Oh, there you are, Gina. Gina finally made it here. But let's get to it. Alright, another day we got up here, so let's see if we can get some coffee. Oh man, man, I'm out of coffee. I'm gonna have to go to the gas station, pick me up some coffee, because I can't have this. Gina, how'd you do tonight? You sleep good? Gina likes the place, she loves the big open area, she gets to guard this whole area, and she gets to keep the neighbor over there up late at night, so she does good work at that. Alright, so I'm gonna head down to Phillips 66 and get me some coffee. Oh, wrong gear. Alright, so stay out of the way, Gina. Don't wanna hit you. So today we are gonna be super busy. Today we're gonna start planting and man, be ready for a lot of long days. A lot of long days, hard days, days at night, good 16 hour days where we're drinking coffee all night long. Probably need to go pick me up some energy drinks. Really, I, I can't stand energy drinks anymore. Uh, they just give my uh, heart rate a pumping and everything like that. It's like my body has a tolerance not to drink them. But they're not exactly good for you anyways, but I do have to live on coffee, especially when I'm pulling long days in the field. Oh, Phillips 66 has a fairly good coffee. I, I wouldn't put it up on the same level as Casey's. Ooh, that's a nice... We need one of them trucks there. That's a nice servicing truck they have right there. Looking kind of nice there. Get out here, shut this door. Alright, let's see in there. Ooh, man, I kind of like that uh, paint scheme and everything. It's a good looking truck. Well, that's the oddest uh, gas visit I've ever had. Uh, I actually bought this truck. The guy, I was talking to him about it, and he's like, yeah, yeah, thinking about upgrading my servicing truck, and uh, so I basically bought it. I think I got a steal with all this equipment on and everything, 10 grand. I think that's a pretty good deal. I mean, for me, that's a good deal. Uh, I felt almost bad giving him that much money, but we need to get these home. I got my coffee, and I got a truck. Odd, uh, gas station visit, but the good thing is, is we can't mess around because we got to get in the field, so that benefits us. We have a breakdown, now we have a servicing truck. So I'm gonna drive this home, and then I'm gonna rush back here. I'm gonna get my wife to drive me back, and I'm gonna pick up that servicing truck. And I'll, I'll probably hook that truck up to the seed tender. That way, now I can pull, I can hook this up to the fertilizer uh, tank and I can pull that with the seed tender. So, even though our uh, operation isn't the most convenient, as in uh, economic, one uh, truck or trailer to have all the seed and the fertilizer, now we can have both. Uh, we'll just have to take two trips. So while I'm waiting for my wife to wake up and everything, I'm on to go hook this up, pull this out. So I, I did put both of my uh, planters away last night, so we'll have to get them out too. Oh yep, there's our uh, tank in there. Alright, so now we got this hooked up, I'm going to probably, so I only have this filled up. So. Good thing I got this big Ram Cummins because we are pulling 2,700 gallons of fertilizer around with this thing, so uh, it's quite the load. We'll leave this shut off right here. Alright, so uh, 
I think I'll back up the planner. So wife's still waking up. So I think I'm going to get the, the roll crop planner out. I'm going to unfold it and uh, start filling it up. Start looking over the last run at least. Open this door. So man, look. We definitely have the shop space now. I mean, look at that. Crazy. We do have to paint that wall there. That's a little eyesore for me at least, but everything else I do like it. We've got grass growing through the concrete. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, but I've got to fix that. So I'm going to basically get this out, unfold it, fill it up. Uh, first thing we're going to be running is the drill. Don't know if a hired hand will get here in time or not. Uh, if so, then we'll trade off. So the 83 or I mean the 8230 is on the drill and then the the 8400R is on the row crop planner here so my get this out right here I want a, enough space so I can get the other planner out too when this is unfolded unfolding folds down that hitch okay there we go I do wish this had more chemical storage area but unfortunately don't I, it will have to do for at least for now this is a 60 foot planner we have here and we're getting, looks like we're gonna have to attach our uh, little uh, attachments there they're not attached right that's gonna bother me all right so I'm gonna leave a little space so that way I can get the fertilizer tank back there shut this off so basically I'm gonna put the locks on here way we don't kill ourselves have another farm accident like we did the other day all right now I need to drive the Dodge and uh, fill this up with uh, some uh, starter bring this over behind it gonna fill this old planter up all right I think yep the hose should fit from there all right so our wife dropped us off here this thing is running like a champ man I was a little bit worried because we got such a good price on it but thing is running great so far so I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna have to go pick up some seed here quickly and then uh, basically our, uh, we need to fill up the drill my plan is to plant the alfalfa today and hopefully get into planting some uh, corn later on. That's the plan. I don't know. We'll see how good. First days of planting are always hard because uh, basically, man, I had to step over the barrels. All right, we're hooked up there. If you know, we already purchased some seed from the co-op. Now we just got to go pick up some of it. We do have a pallet on our trailer, but we're going to need more seed than that. All right, so we got some alfalfa seed and we got some corn seed in there. So we hooked it up. They loaded us up with some mixture. So I think we got way too much alfalfa seed because it's really small. You don't really... Uh, a lot... A bu one bushel of alfalfa seed goes a long ways. I don't know exactly how many uh, acres it will cover, but it will definitely go a long way. But we'll have some more in case we need to plant some later on. This uh, little, this is a doozy of a drop off right there. They need to kind of level this out or do something. Do have a kid steer, do something because dang. I think I'll break an axle. All right, so now we're done with that. We're gonna rush back, fill up the planters, give it the final look through, and we will start in the field. All right, so we're pulling back in here. Now I need to pull out my drill quickly and so I can fill it up. I'm trying to think where I need to put this so I don't have to do too much moving around. Maybe right here like a big mess of equipment right now 
All right, I'm gonna leave it right there so we have it unfolded out. It's ready to fill up. Now we just gotta get the 8230 running here. All right, we got our monitors there. So this thing is all ready to go other than the seed. All right, so we're gonna give it one final look over. Got the seed in it. We do have to, hmm, how am I gonna do this? So maybe, actually, I think I'm just gonna pull this out of the way. I'll take this over to the field and then I'll take the tank over and that's where we'll fill up the track. Man, this truck gets dirty quick seems like so we're gonna plant this field right over here into uh, alfalfa here quickly so shouldn't take long for us to fill walk back now we got to get this over as I said I would like to get like one trailer that is able to do everything but right now we're just basically getting started up even though we basically move farm areas uh, basically getting everything together so not the most efficient yet I do like efficiency I think it's important when you're farming I think that's productive farmers profitable farmers always have the most efficient operation uh, it bothers me when stuff slows me down when I don't have the tools when I don't have the equipment I need and everything so think it's just smarter all right so we need to fill this up and then we can start planting this up man I sure do like the way this uh, 8230 looks so it just has that clean look and appearance on it definitely dark in this cab makes it feel like you're running at night almost all right, so we'll go over here, fill up with our uh, starter fertilizer. Start this old motor here. All right, we'll shut that off. There we go. All right, we're watching the planter unfold here. We're going to start planting here pretty soon. So right now I'm planting the end rows, and I'm going to start on the up and down rows here quickly. Get that done. So this is about a 43 foot planter, so fairly uh, fairly big. Not as big as our 60 foot roll crop planter, but this thing, uh, I mean, this thing is a hoss. I mean, this thing is so beefy and sturdy. I always like the looks of this planter. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, drill type planters. I, I've always preferred the John Deere planters. I guess uh, I just think they are, are uh, a few steps ahead of everyone else when it comes to planters. But other uh, companies, they make pretty good planters, but of course I like John Deere. This is our other little farmyard coming up here. So it's kind of a nice little secluded area here might plant some more trees around it just to make it a little bit uh, more of a wind block uh, it does have a little buildings there's nothing really in the buildings but it is a convenient little uh, another spot to park my equipment and everything this place has this field has some low spots in it so I'm gonna have to watch out for them uh, I think it'll be pretty good to have this whole field planted into uh, some alfalfa.
All right, so we just got done, and I think I'm almost stuck. Oh, man. This thing, uh I picked the wrong way to get out of this field. So I just got done with the planting of the alfalfa. This field is completely planted. Oh, thought I was done for there in that little hole. Uh, this is going to be a good field of alfalfa. We probably will be able to sell some of the, the bales we get off of it because that field is giant. One thing about these flat lands in Nebraska is, man, do they have some big fields around here. Fields are giant. I mean, it takes a while to go to one end to the other. Uh, don't know why that strip didn't get uh, fertilized right there. It's kind of odd, but anyways, I'm hoping this grows all right because we kind of planted it late. Usually you want to plant that earlier, uh, but unfortunately uh, we were just too busy building our farm, getting moved here and everything, so we're behind like always, basically. So I'm going to get this back to the farmyard. And then we're going to jump right into the row crop. But before we do that, we got to move our equipment to our next field here. Park this into the shed here. I did not turn that correctly. There we go. Uh, we still have another field of soybeans to plant. It's our southern field, but... Right now, I'm concerned about getting our corn in. Man, it is so hard to move when you're by yourself. That is like the biggest chore. So now we're going to move our chemical tank over to our next field. And then uh, we'll have to move the seed tender, and then we should be ready, hopefully. Unfortunately, this road isn't wide enough to turn around, so we'll have to run down to our little... Uh, unique little farmyard down here in the corner. Good thing about these Nebraska roads, you don't really have to worry about the cop stops on the country roads, so if it's safe, you could drive. Anyways, you could definitely drive however fast you want to. Recommend you don't go over the speed limit, but hey, we're not going that fast. We're just going about 70 mile an hour with uh, 2,700 uh, gallons of fertilizer on the back of us. Not a big deal. All right, so now we're going to go over here. And this, I guess we will do our uh, fertilizer fill up over here in the corner. So this is our grass field right here. So another thing we have to do, we have to put our uh, beans we're planting by the road. Basically, the seed committee gave us a discount if we put our our seed signs by the road. So that is, got to find, where did I put them? Oh, I put them on the trailer. Here they are. Put our first one right here. So we're planting uh, Papa 0720Q. So it's a good little uh, brand of corn here. So we're going to put them all over here. All right. Man, that was a lot of fence. That was a lot of pounding of these stakes to put in. Oh, man. You never imagine how much it takes just to put all these in. Man, I don't know about this discount next year. The good thing is we got a uh, piece of ground right by the roadway here. The most important thing to do for this piece of ground though is we can't show our neighbors that we don't have top quality corn. Like this is the most important corn we have. This is the highest fertilizer rate we can put on. We don't mess around with this field. Like these rows are straight as an arrow. You. We don't need our neighbors talking about how bad a farmer we are. This is serious stuff. When you have a cornfield or bean field or any type of field right by an active highway like this, you put your top effort into it. You definitely don't have the planter not plant a whole, you know, strip or something like that or have bad germination. You replant them. This is important. Like, 
it's most important for the neighbors to know that we are good farmers. Man, I don't know why I'm not using my Honda side by side. This is a lot of walking. <sighs> Finally got back here. Whew. Start up my new truck here. Like always, we gotta go down here and turn around and bring it over there. So, gotta bring the whole operation by the roadway there because that's most important. We need to show everyone we are the real deal. We got an operation here. We got a big 60 foot planter. Don't mess around with us. Uh oh. I lost a whole pallet of seed here. Can you believe this? Man, now I gotta just walk all that distance. Now I gotta pack this in the back. Oh man. Alright, now it's strapped down. Man, when you have to do that all by hand, that is tough. Whew. Reminds me of my military days. Man, moving sandbags around. Whew. That's hard. Alright, so we're gonna get this over there finally. I probably should uh, wash off my windshield here because, man, that's dirty. Especially with this by the highway, this is the most important. Have a clean, nice and clean operation going here so neighbors don't talk about us. Now we gotta get our planter, get it in the field, make sure our seat placement, everything's perfect because this is important by the roadway. I need to get some cattle in my pens over here. And get my feedlot running here. First thing to, on the to-do list is get the uh, seed in the ground. All right, we got the planter hooked up here. Got to fold it up here quickly. Uh, flashers running here. Got to go slightly down the roadway. So I do still have my rock box on this planter. All right, so now we're going. I'm hoping everything works right. So I'm taking a big gamble with uh, starting my planting out by the roadway. If I have issues with the planter, if the seed placement isn't perfect and everything, uh, gonna look like an idiot to all the neighbors. Gotta go slightly down the road here. Gotta watch out for these drivers in Nebraska like they never seen a planter before there's no way there's no way all right so we got the planter filled up we're gonna unfold it here uh oh looks like we already got some issues going on here something probably needs greased or something actuators bypassing or something with it bouncing like that that's not good it is connected now, so, well, it spoke too soon. It spoke too soon. I'm gonna lower this quickly. All right, man, this thing looks like it's deep into the ground right now. We're gonna back this up, start planting, and hopefully uh, we're gonna test it a few times just to make sure we're doing good along the roadway here. All right, we're started now. All right, we went a little ways. Uh, going to get out and look here quickly. I'm keeping the planter running. I'm just gonna shut off. I just want to make sure I don't hear any seed. Uh, basically, don't see any seed getting blown out. I don't hear any air leaks. Basically, check our seed depth. Oh, we're two inches deep, so that's, at least that's good. Actually, this is, like, set right, right from the get-go. Alright, that ain't bad. We might make our neighbors proud here. We'll keep going around this field quickly. Got the old farmer right here. So this is... The, the old farmer that retired that basically we bought the 
the operation from. Try to get as close as possible here. You're going to have to uh, pick up and uh, back up so we can get that corner correctly. Got to make it look sharp for the, the highway here. Don't want the rubber neckers where we can say anything bad about us. They're watching us back up. They're probably uh, laughing. It's always tough doing the outside pass. Especially doing it opposite. I don't know why I'm going opposite. Usually it's easier to uh, go around the field on the side of where your controls are. Because it's just natural that you turn that way, at least. And I have a lot of square corners on this land. Don't tell Grant, but I'm turning around in his field. Shh, don't tell him. Everything looks like it's going good according to our monitors here. Uh, planting right along. Uh, man, I'm worried about Grant. Uh, hopefully he gets his uh, fields planted here because uh, I know he's in the field, but... Man, we might have to help them out and plant them fields for them. Shh, don't tell Grant. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Just a little tractor on somebody else's field. So we almost got all the headlands done on this field, so... Pretty nice when it goes this quick, that's for sure. So we're going to go on the back side of our horse pasture here. Oh man, now I'm turning on my land. I'm not supposed to do this. Got to get off this. It's freshly planted alfalfa right there. What am I doing? Shouldn't be doing that. Alright, so we're lowering it down here. So we had started our up and down rows. We are making great time now. So... The good thing about this planter is we could go about 11 miles an hour, so we are absolutely flying through this field. Uh, it's a little bit bumpy, probably should have uh, cultivated it just so it smoothed it out a little bit. There's our race horses over there. They look like they're doing good. we got plenty of room to roam in their nice little pasture right there. But getting this planted so it's going to be a late night planting again today so we've got a lot of late nights in the cab here so the good thing about this uh, 8400R is we got uh, one heck of a light set on this tractor so it has lights all over the place uh, works great for at night because uh, Especially at night, uh, especially when you're doing the in rows on a field, you definitely want a nice set of lights around your tractor because uh, you could easily wrap it around one of these uh, highline poles because they just come up from nowhere when you're driving at night. Well, uh, we are using GPS, we're not using the row markers which uh, we do have the row markers on this planter, but we don't need to use them. Uh, we, I just kind of like a planter with row markers just in case GPS uh, falls out of sync. You never know when you're going to lose connection, and then, uh, then, it, then you're kind of basically uh, broke down. So that kind of is a fail-safe for us. We got row markers on each side. I think I'm gonna get my drone out over here and I'm gonna fly it around a little bit.
know why them cars are stopping over here. Uh, I think you could drive, buddy. Anyways, it must be the first time they've probably seen a tractor. No way, we live in Nebraska, come on. Why are you guys stopping over there? That'd be a reason. Just such intimidating piece of equipment, maybe? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I don't know what their problem is. Uh, we're about halfway done with this field. So we're going to have to go fill up here pretty soon. But we will get this field done in likely time, no time at all. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to start the next field before uh, we have to turn in for bed. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.